Hey you guys, welcome back to Denver Crystal Hall part two. We are actually on the brand new iPhone. Hopefully the quality is good. We have a lot to film, a lot to unbox today. Let's just jump straight into it. The first crystals we're gonna unbox are gonna be some watermelon tourmaline. Now I was on the hunt for really high end specimens, not like thousand dollar specimens, but the higher end stuff. And I just could not find it. My vendor who normally is there, I couldn't find them. So these are much more affordable, but still beautiful, but they're not that really nice quality I've had in the past. I'm hoping to get more of them in Tucson, but let's jump right in. They're still beautiful pieces. So this is the first piece. It's green and pink tourmaline with some purple mica on it. Super unique. You can see some sheen right there. The color is so pretty on these ones. Next one has a little bit of blue on it. I was looking for ones with blue, but they are either super big or the quality wasn't the greatest. So I just tried to pick the best that they had. They will also be in Minnesota this weekend. So if I do find more, I will get some, but I have no idea what they bring to the Minnesota show. This next one is one of my favorites. So pretty. You can see the watermelon tourmaline. There's blue, green, and pink on this one. These were very stunning and these should be very affordable, you guys, but they're so pretty. I do hope they have more at the gem show this weekend because I would love to get more because we only got a handful of pieces. This one is also so pretty. Beautiful mica right there in this <laughs> beautiful green and pink combo. And there's a little bit of blue mixed in there as well, but I love this. So pretty. Even a little bit of smoky quartz right there, but they were like these bubblegum pink candy tourmalines. The next one is this beautiful pink tourmaline. This one has really strong tourmaline pieces on it. You can see how it reflects the light. Otherwise, it's just quartz here, so it does make it a little bit heavier just due to the weight of the quartz, but really, really gorgeous pink tourmaline within the quartz. Really fun piece. This is the next one. It's black, blue, and green. So gorgeous. There's some blue on the back as well. This is as close as I could find to that beautiful black and blue one I got in Tucson. Very pretty though with the combo. And then this next one had some really nice green and blue tourmaline and some black as well. A little bit of mica right here. Just a fun little piece with lots of green if you're a green tourmaline fan. This one is probably the best one in my opinion. Look at how gorgeous this tourmaline just reflects the light so beautifully. This one is on quartz with pink tourmaline. Beautiful here. I love the texture on the back. The yellow is a little bit of iron and these are raw. So there could be some breakage on them. That's just normal, but we will ship them very, very carefully to you. Beautiful piece. And this is the last one we picked up. It is an all blue, one super moody dark blue. And it's just surrounded by quartz, but the blue is just superior. I love how the sheen looks on that. So incredibly cool. And we did get a couple other things from this vendor. So let me show you. Yeah, we did pick up a few other things, but they are carnelian and mookite. So let me grab those and show you what they look like. So one of the other things we picked out from this vendor were mini Mookite spheres. Here is just a little example of what those look like. Really fun color on them. These will be intuitively chosen and we'll also have a $5 upcharge if you'd like to choose your own. Cause I know some people do like to pay the extra to choose your own and how that will work is we'll send you an option of 10 or whatever we have left and you can pick from there and it will be a non-refundable fee. So those are what all of them look like. Lots of color and variety. I really love that they had a lot of purple on them and I love mini spheres. I'm definitely looking to grow my mini sphere offering. So some of the other things I picked out were carnelian flats and I got three bags of these because they're so pretty. Carnelian is really good for confidence and really good for public speaking and it's kind of a fiery crystal. I used to really not love carnelian but now being in my Leo era I personally really love it. 
So I got a bunch of these beautiful worry stones in carnelian. They all look a little bit different. Again, they will be intuitively chosen. Wow, look at that one. If you'd like to pay a little bit extra, you can pick your own because we won't be individually listing these because there are so many different patterns. They're all so incredibly beautiful though. And we got three bags of these. So we have tons for you to pick your own or we will pick the best for you intuitively. So that is all from this first vendor. I will show you the next vendor, which will be the gorgeous snowflake obsidian. And I think I said snowflake obsidian, but I am actually talking about the new stardust obsidian, which is a new find that looks like this. So a few of you have asked, isn't this just snowflake obsidian? And it's actually quite different because you can see underneath the obsidian, it's translucent. So you can see the stardust, the, what they're calling stardust obsidian throughout the crystal, whereas a snowflake obsidian is very opaque. So you can see the depth in this piece where some of the stardust specks are actually deeper within the crystal. So this is from Mexico. I got to meet the miner. I bought miner direct from him. Funny story is he told me he discovered this while he was out going to the bathroom. He was just walking near the mine, went to go to the bathroom and looked down and saw this. So he owns the mine. He owns the rights to this material. No other vendor at the show had this type of obsidian. There's another vendor that I will be showing you that has a similar stardust obsidian, but it's actually a different formation. It was cooled a lot differently, so it shows up as little glittery specks versus specks like this. So we've got several hearts, and these are priced by the piece, so these will be more expensive. I'm just going to be honest with you guys because it's a new find and there's only so much of it available. I bought as many pieces as I thought looked good, but don't worry if you guys don't get one of these. I do have the glittery stardust obsidian that will be available in a later video so don't fret <laughs> here's another one these are pretty puffy hearts they're absolutely gorgeous and because he is the miner he said he can make me custom shapes as long as the mine is still producing material so i will be asking about that once these babies sell out we did also get some obelisks you can see the depth a little bit more with the uh, blesks. He did have um, only a handful of small hearts and then he had some slabs, which the slabs were really interesting, but I didn't get them because they were pretty big and pretty heavy. And I personally was much more drawn to the large hearts and the obelisks. These also get pretty large, but they're just so pretty. I just love how they look. I'm so excited for you guys to see the other type of obsidian. Ooh, I don't want that to glare in your eyes. Oh, I did get a few raw pieces. Okay. So this is actually what the raw looks like. You can see where the lava cooled, the bubbles that create the spots. And then you can see here the raw material. And this part is obviously polished but half polished, half raw. I just got a few of these. They're still fairly expensive. I really wish he had tumbles and or palm stones, but I'll see if I can get those custom made. Oh, beautiful. Look at how fun. I love this vibe. I definitely feel like I have to keep one. Here's another one. You can really see the translucency in the obelisks. And please don't make fun of how I say obelisks. It is a harder word for me to say. Here is another one of those half raw, half polished. You can see how the speckles get very clustered together. And these are genuine obsidian, but you can see here's the raw material. You can see the dots embedded in the raw. It does help to meet the person who mined these stunning pieces. I'm so excited to see if you guys like the hearts or the obelisks or the raw better. All right, and then we got one more obelisk. These kind of all look the same. They do all have their own personality. Like this one has a ton of cluster. So this is the only ones I picked out. One, because I can order from him outside of the show. And two, because these were the best of what was left. Otherwise, everything was getting <laughs> very large and very heavy, which I don't have any problem with that. But the larger and the heavier it gets, the more expensive it gets. If it breaks, it's more of a loss. So I tried to pick out smaller pieces so you guys could try out this newer obsidian. I've just been loving obsidian. If you guys watched the first 
tall, super gorgeous. So those are all of the obsidian pieces. So stunning, so gorgeous. I am so in love with these. Let's go ahead and open the next material. So next up, we're gonna look at some pretty affordable crystals. These are fun for my fun collectors who like things that are a little bit more playful. Now, these are snow agate from Indonesia and they are dyed, but they're still so fun. I think they take the dye very well. These are mini obelisks, super cute. They just give me tie-dye vibes. We just got a handful of these. I just love the color combinations on them. And I'm guessing these will be popular only with the particular crowd. I thought they were really fun. And the crystal underneath is still very beautiful, especially with all the druzy. This one's really fun. I love how they do this dye technique. It's very beautiful. And they even dyed the bottom. So we just have a handful of those little towers. I also got some moons just because I thought they were so playful. Look at how pretty. Ooh, and the purple on the back. I just thought they were really, really fun. Especially this one with the gradation. The orange and the purple. This one is so pretty. The big druze. Again, I just love the gradation on these. Normally I don't really dabble in dyed, but I was like, why not? These are kind of fun. They kind of like are along the lines of aura. You either love them or you hate them. But I, I thought the color was really playful. And then we also got some beautiful Orca and Carnelian. These are all so stunning. I don't know if I will list them all individually because we have so many. I may do some as individual and some as intuitive, or I may do them all as intuitive and you can pay extra if you'd like to pick your own. I'm trying to think of the best way to do it. Well, wow, this one's really fun. Very Orca agate on this side and then the Carnelian kind of winking through these are completely natural and I just picked the ones with the most fun personality. This vendor will be at the Minnesota Gem Show this weekend so if he brings these again I will definitely pick more because I just think these are so special so fun I love orca and I love carnelian I've been looking for these for a really long time especially in this grade in this quality so pretty this one has so many unique lines and patterns on it and these are very affordable that's why I really don't know if I want to spend the time photographing them all individually because it takes so much work to do that and then the price like isn't justified for me to do that so I just need to contemplate how I want to list these because the pricing on these is very 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 affordable look at the sparkle on that one I mean you really can't go wrong with any of them because they're all so pretty and I got so so many i love these like ones with the really dark kind of gothic color they are really all so different though i love this one just the perfect blend of carnelian and orca i'm just showing them all to you so you can kind of get the vibe and the energy oh that one's so pretty okay and this is the last one really cool i love this combination so that was everything from this vendor really fun really playful these will all be very affordable really fun easy pieces to add to your cart i'll probably launch this with another collection just because this is a small assortment but let's move on to the next vendor Hey, question for you. Have you been thinking about starting a crystal business? Don't know where to start or feel a lack of community? Well, guess what, you guys? I have a Patreon that has access to a private community and Discord server for just $18 a month. You can learn from other businesses, make friends, learn along with me, and topics include pricing, shipping, Shopify, Etsy, and so much more. So head over and join us on Patreon for just $18 a month. Everything is linked in my bio.